time now. Come to uh, Africa, and we're so delighted to be. You know, Cape Town is the first to host it. Um, it's a huge achievement, and we are we're so excited to be showing it to Cape Tonians. Uh, what does the exhibition entail? I believe you know there are plasma touchscreen versions of Leonardo's actual handwritten mans uh, manuscripts. What else is there? Yeah, that's the thing. We start with the codices, which were his handwritten uh, manuscripts. Um, Leonardo da Vinci was an absolute genius, and he drew his designs in these tiny little manuscripts um, and with this very interesting mirror, ha mirror writing um, that it was very, very difficult to decipher. And um, these manuscripts you can, you can see on touch screens. You can actually leaf through them a bit like you do on an iPad, which really brings them to life. And then you go from there and see some of these amazing inventions. I mean, Leonardo da Vinci um, designed the first concepts of a car, the first concept of a helicopter, a flying machine, the ball bearing. I mean, he was behind so much. And what we've done is we've had these machines uh, literally created, brought to life. They've been made in Italy by Italian artisans and brought over. Um, so you can see the life-size replicas uh, of the, you know, of his genius, of mm. his mind, really, of what he created. And, you know, funny enough, at the time, very few were created. I mean, Leonardo da Vinci f lived 550 years ago, um, and very few of his designs were actually ever uh, brought to life. They were uh, ever constructed. But we have now done this, and over 75 of them are um, are um, interactive, so you can even touch them. You can yank and crank and pull them, and it's uh, it's exciting. It's interactive. It's just so interesting to see what this man achieved. All right, and I mean, you've had to extend the exhibitions run by a further six weeks until twenty third of March. What influenced that? Is that part of the reason? The public response is that part of the reason you've had to ex extend it. Absolutely. It's twofold. The last three or four weeks, we've had a phenomenal response. I mean, last Sunday, we broke all records and had over 1,600 people on one day. Um, and of course, the response from schools, I think, is the other thing, has been so great because Leonardo da Vinci touches on so many subjects. Um, he was an engineering genius. Of course, he was an art genius with him being responsible for the famous Mona Lisa. Um, he was a, a philosopher, a scientist, an anatomist. So he covers so many fields and he's interesting to so many people. And I think for that reason, the schools have also shown such uh, amazing support and they're desperate to go and see it. And, you know, schools only came back on the 15th of January, so they haven't really had much time to go and see it. So we, we wanted to extend it to give more schools a chance to come during the day and to give the public uh, a bigger chance to come and see it in the evenings because we're open till nine o'clock every night. So. You know, you can come at any time. All right. And the waterfront, of course, is buzzing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Charlotte, good luck. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, she is the marketing manager of Great World Exhibitions, which is the company uh, uh, that has brought Da Vinci, uh, Charlotte uh, Dumgard. The exhibition is currently on at the Chavon Battery Museum, uh, located in the Clock Tower precinct.